This is Goku Sun BBZ, and welcome to a second special ever edition of video game pickups. And today, I did some pickups from a local retro game convention we just had. And as you're seeing in my hand, first of the pickups is Virtual Fighter 2 for the Sega Saturn. Sadly, it didn't come in any case, just a small cardboard thing, but yeah, got a really good price on it, so I'm not complaining. Next up is a game called Road, Road Rush, is what they call it, though it's not spelled that way. I'm kind of annoyed when things aren't spelled correctly. And yes, as you see there, done by Electronic Arts, or EA, for the past like three years. Next up, also picked up for the 3DO, and another one, pretty good price, is Road and Track Entertainment uh, Presents The Need for Speed. This is actually the first version of the original Need for Speed game. This is for any collector of really any retro games, and it's nice to find a game for the 3DO, given how easy to come by these games. So, you take what you can get. But this is awesome. I can't wait to try this out. Because the original version had, like, CG video clips. This one, actually, instead uses, actually, a live action recorded video clips. So, real people and stuff. Which makes it a little more interesting, to say the least. Next, for the... Sega Genesis, Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition, which is basically Street Fighter 2 Turbo, but for the Genesis. And the reason why they, of course, had to go by this name rather than Turbo is because Nintendo basically owned a copyright and made Capcom sign that they weren't allowed to port that title. So, they basically ported the same game. Just changed the name to Championship Edition. And I uh, found it, yeah, with actually everything, including the booklet. Okay, not really a booklet, just a little paper, not the full booklet. But, trust me when I say this was a really good deal, given mint condition. And this makes my fifth version of uh, Street Fighter 2. But, eh, favorite fine game of all time, so, whatever. Next up, pick up for the original Xbox, Shemu 2. Of course, sequel to the uh, Sega Dreamcast game, Shemu. This also includes a special movie, which is a combination of all the cinematic clips from the first game on the Dreamcast, included with this game. And it's called Shemu the Movie. And yeah, they just condensed it all down to like a two hour length, I guess you could say, CG movie. Which is kind of cool. Now, the only version of this game that was actually brought out for the Dreamcast was exclusively on import, Dreamcast only. Now, you could play if you got a special disc for the Dreamcast, would allow you to play then import games on the Dreamcast. So they found a way around import region coding, sort of like the cartridge, action replay cartridge for the Second Saturn. But, looking forward to this game. Next up is for the PlayStation 2, done by Square Enix. It's the first of a trilogy called Drakengard, or Drakard, however you want to pronounce it. But, this would be the first of the trilogy. Now, the third game would have a completely different art style to it than 1 and 2. But, Honestly, it's a really good game for the most part. I will say that. Next up, for also the PS2, Silent Hill 4, The Room. Which now I just need to get Silent Hill 3 to have the original 4. Because I have 1 and 2. And I kind of like this, and it's definitely the most unique out of all the games. 
Though the last true Silent Hill game actually was after this, the prequel called Silent Hill Origins. But I can't wait to play this. It's been years since I've gone to play Silent Hill for the room. Next up is also for PS2, Bloody Roar 3. Which, I, of course, you know I've already reviewed Bloody Roar and Bloody Roar 2 The New Breed. All right here on my channel. And in the future, you can expect a review for Bloody Roar 3. But also expect for the original Xbox first, though, a review for Bloody Roar Extreme. I don't have a GameCube, so I could never review uh, Primal Furies. Even though it's exactly the same as Bloody Roar Extreme. Just with CG, via, well, Primal Fury uses anime clips, while Xbox version uses CG via clips. And next up, also for PS2, Bloody Roar 4, which is the final one in the series. Now, this one has in the cover here, we have this picture of Ryoho, and uh, I think it's uh, Raiko or something. I'm trying to mirror his name, Region, and of course, Nagi. Which I don't know why they use so much of box art and stuff around her. Because she's not really a very good character for the most part and pretty cheap. But this allows me to complete my collection of all the Bloody Roar games in the series. So I couldn't be happier. Trust me, I want to say this game's cheap. This one is a little bit harder to find and a little bit pricier. Last regular game for the Sega Saturn, X-Men Children of the Anton, which is awesome. It's really the first of these type of fighting games, of course, we would see from Capcom. And, of course, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, which would be the very next game after this, would be the very first of the crossovers. But this uses the exact same combat system. As uh, Marvel superheroes in X Men vs. Street Fighter and Marvel superheroes vs. Street Fighter. So, definitely it's a good game to have for any fighting game collector. Not to mention, this version is superior to the PlayStation version, I will say. And price wise, they're both about the same price range. So, if you get the chance, get the, the Saturn version. And last but not least, as you already know, I have an original Dreamcast, and I just got hold of this today. This is called the Sega Sports Dreamcast, which as we see is completely black. And like the original, and yes, even the controller also comes like that. Interestingly, it comes with a longer cord than the regular controller, but... I will be reviewing this in the future. I know even though it's basically the same, exact same as the other one, just a lot cooler looking and more beautiful. But yeah, I will be doing its own game review. And I also picked up a few comic books, but I will be doing a special comic book pickups for that. So anyways, um, mirror thumbs up this video, like, subscribe, follow me at twitter.com slash gokusundbc. As well as on, of course, Tumblr now, besides Google+. And I'll see you next time here in YouTube land. And yeah, I've changed my background. Dragon Ball Z. Spawn. Bleach. Jet Set Radio Future. And this is a special Street Fighter thing. Street Fighter Alpha. And it says here, featuring the League of super combos and we have Ryu, Guile, Chun-Li and of course Dan Habiki and it says I'm sorry Dan Habiki you may have mastered the art of fighting and proved to be the king of fighters but you must defeat Shang Long to stand a chance and he's crying Anyways, I'll see you next time here on YouTube land. Same YouTube time, same YouTube channel.